business and technology executives think and talk alike. They need to work in an agile way, think and act more strategically and use modern technology intelligently. But when they go about their daily work, they find themselves in meetings to resolve operational issues and in steering groups to sponsor something that seems to lack strategic thinking. They have smart people in their organizations and leadership positions, so the lack of agility and strategic thinking is not down to people. It's about how the organization works and how development is done. We have all heard and read stories of agile organizations that operate as tribes and successfully use agile methods to achieve more customer-centric results. On the other hand, many CIO or CXO colleagues talk about a culture clash when experimenting with purely agile management models. According to business, it seems that the organization serves the operating model and not the other way around. What could be the optimal way of working? It needs to promote the agility of the company, but it should not be too puritanical to fit the current culture and organizational model. First, we need to go beyond buzzwords and think about what we really mean by enterprise agility. Get people in business and technology roles to co-create together every day. Empower teams to design business and decide on solutions. Promote the usage of shared objectives and key results to improve collaboration across functions. Promote rolling strategic thinking across business value streams. Keep governance structures lean and mean, support culture change. Don't underestimate the need to talk about cultural change. Do not ban topics that don't hinder agility. Projects have a long history and are still good. If you ban them, you will see a lot of false agility that will ruin the agile culture. Financial management, budgeting and business cases are not against agility. They are still needed to drive business priorities. Planning, design, portfolio management and coordinating steering and governance are all needed in agility. Okay, so we can agree on the agile principles. How can enterprise agility be put into practice? First, make sure that all products, solutions, and services have an owner, a backlog and a person to lead the development. Secondly, planning collectives are set up to do business design and prepare development initiatives. More business orientation and more strategic demand planning. Business leaders and stakeholders are equipped with design methods that are simple enough to be used regularly by non-professional designers and that promote strategic and human-centered thinking. Third, value streams provide a strategic mission and funding for the development collective. The value stream is led by a business executive and orchestrated by a technology executive. Finally, we have a few enterprise-level steering bodies and cross-value stream operation center to ensure synergies of scale and scope. However, they operate under the principle of minimum viable governance. Now we have the key elements to enterprise agility. Executives lead strategic missions through value streams. Business leaders are designing the business more strategically and creating more meaningful demand for development teams with clear roles and mandate to deliver results without redundant governance. If you prefer more trendy agile terminology, you can call value streams, tribes, and development initiatives resulting from business planning, epics, and portfolio stages, PIs, as in planning increments. Business and technology executives now spend time with planning collectives on business design and value stream steering to ensure focus on strategic missions. Development initiatives, their implementation and the use of enterprise software are becoming more business-driven and relevant from a strategic perspective. 